previously on the Steve Saga. Tell me who you are. I, I promise I'm not here to attack you or anything. I'm not evil. Welcome to the great library. The great librarian. You're a librarian here? You only have three questions. Only what? three questions? Okay, uh, how many puffer fish can I eat in five seconds? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. He only gave us three questions, man. That's Ten. Legit. Now you only have two questions left. Oh, wow, my. He's good. Now you only have one left. Oh, my. All right, I'm asking the next question, okay? Welcome back to another daily Minecraft video. Today I'm here back on the Steve Saga server. I'm inside of the great library. Guys, a lot has happened since the last time that I, uh, well, since the last Steve Saga episode. Well, actually not in between, but the last Steve Saga episode, we learned a lot. And well, I, you know, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this entire journey. We've, uh, we've, we've gotten far. We've gotten far and I've gotten a lot more hope in defeating Void Steve. So, I, I, you know, I mean, without further ado, I think I should probably jump into it. We have one, one question left to ask the librarian, right? And um, first of all, if you guys are excited to see what the question will be, then hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that. But what will the question be is the topic today, guys. I've been thinking about it. Uh, the last episode, I told Galaxy Steve that he should go and figure out what he thinks we should ask him. And he, he's been kind of thinking about it. I don't really know exactly where he is. Uh, I think I think I know where he is, but I, I don't know. I'll look for him in a sec here. But I also asked you guys to comment down below in the last video what you guys think we should ask. Um, I brought up we have the possibility of figuring out what Galaxy Steve can't remember from his past. You know, he can't remember a lot of his past. Actually, mo most of his past he has no recollection of. And I brought that up in the last episode. And I kind of feel like I probably shouldn't have honestly because since i had brought up that he could get his memories back it's kind of like this conflicting thing that galaxy steve has on his mind now i i realized that once i brought it up he knows that in asking that question he could get answers about his past and finally have closure but at the same time that question might not give us the solution to defeating void steve there's a possibility that from galaxy steve's past he might know a solution to defeating void steve but there's no actual 100 percent fact that that could be it so now he's kind of conflicted that if he asked that question then it would be a waste and we wouldn't be able to to defeat Void Steve and well I mean coming to this great library would be for nothing in a sense other than his own closure but Rainbow Steve's still out there and Void Steve's still working on his own plan and we need to come up with something else I think I have the solution I think I have the answer I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be asking the question but I want to make sure I talk to Galaxy Steve about it and see what he thinks see what if he's thought of anything just in case make sure we put all uh, our heads together um it seems like most of you did want us to ask about his past but I I honestly think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put my Put down and say that 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 might not be the best thing to do either way let's look for galaxy steve and see what he's doing what he's up to galaxy steve hello i don't see him anywhere up there he wasn't upstairs either oh there he is hey galaxy steve hey saber uh, how's it going man well it's it's going you know going the best it can but i wanted to talk to you about you know the last question we can ask have you had any time to think about what we could um, ask or anything be honest with you saber it's kind of all i've been able to think about and well, as as you said, it's I could learn about my past. He, I, we could ask him, and it's it's kind of shaken me up because there's only two people in the whole universe who who truly know about about my past, and well, it's the Great Librarian and Void Steve. And well, I I don't think Void Steve's ever gonna really tell me what's what's happened in my past and so it seems like Look, this is the one chance galaxy steve i'm just gonna stop you there i i'm sorry that i brought up the whole fact that you could ask about your past here I, I feel like it was unfair that i just dropped that on you because now i'm sure you feel conflicted if you ask that question then you might not get an answer of how to defeat void steve but you'll have closure of your past if you don't ask it then you'll never know or you might never know look i promise you if we don't ask the question about your past here as long as i'm by your side we'll figure out what happened in your past and and we'll get that closure for you, okay? Makes me feel a lot better knowing that you're on my side, Saber. 
Yeah. And I know it could be confusing not knowing what happened, but what we should be focusing on is what's happening now. Void Steve's out there and Rainbow Steve believes that he's doing the right thing by helping Void Steve. And I know that Rainbow Steve knows deep down that he just wants the best. So we need to figure all this out as fast as possible. And the librarian only has one more question available for us. I think I know what to ask. I've been thinking. The great librarian has immense power. So much so that he's kept this entire library in its own realm or dimension or something, right? You're, you're right. He has so much power being able to upkeep I mean, I don't know exactly what this is, but I can only assume it's its own dimension. If he's able to have this much power, he might be able to actually help us. Yeah, exactly. And, well, he said that we can ask any question of him, right? Yeah, that, that's what he said. He can't deny that question, right? You're right. Well, if we do that, then what if instead of asking him of a question that, you know, is just something that he'll tell us, what if we ask for his help? What if we actually ask him to help us? With a match, as much power as this, he could be a great ally. He could give you energy or he could even restore my power. Yeah. Oh. You're right. That's what I'm thinking. Saber, that's brilliant. He probably won't be able to help us more than that, though. Keeping this entire library up is taking a lot of energy in itself, and he only gave us three questions, let alone asking the last question of him to be a huge energy-consuming one. I'm worried that he might say no, but if we word it properly, then maybe he will just grant the wish anyways. I'm thinking that we ask him if he will restore your powers back. You're, Saber, you're, you're a genius. I think we can. I think we should ask him that. Question. I was thinking that there was a chance that I could ask him to maybe give me powers or something, but in the end, your powers are restoring too slowly. I'm worried that it might be a long, a long-lasting effect. Like, what if you won't actually get your powers fully restored anyways? This will make you more powerful than ever, and in turn, we could help my own ability that I've gotten from the Galaxy Sword be even better with you. They're both the same energy, so if you get your powers back, then they'll be replenished, and you'll be able to actually help me in return, and then I think we'll be able to defeat Void Steve. You're right. If I get my powers back i can use my powers to boost the power that's within you i don't know exactly what will happen but i can only assume that it would heighten the abilities that you already have not only that i think both of our powers together might be able to defeat void steve we might not have the answer on how to defeat him but i think if we put our heads together we can do that the librarian will just give us the kickstart that we need to give us the edge on void steve you're right we we won't necessarily be able to fight void steve in his own dimension but if we lure him to our dimension or a dimension where we have the advantage, we might just be able to win. I think so. If we ask the librarian this, I don't know how long we'll be, we'll be able to even stay in the library. I don't know what happens after we ask all the questions. So is there anything else you want to do in this library before we ask him? Other than trying to read a book, which we can't even do anyways because they're all sealed by him. There really isn't anything else in here anyways, huh? No, I mean, it's its own dimension. And I don't know if the longer we stay in here, the more it will start to fade away. But I kind of want to get out of here as quickly as possible, Saber. I want to save Rain Rainbow Steve. I want to stop Void Steve. Look, I want to save the world. We'll do that, but we need to make sure that we pace ourselves. If we go too fast, then, you know, we might, uh, we might miss something. I want to defeat Void Steve just as much as you, but either way, we need to make sure we don't get ahead of ourselves and we don't underestimate Void Steve. Even with our powers being fully back, well, your powers, my power is kind of just your power borrowed. Either way, with your power fully restored, you still don't have the knowledge from your past on skills of fighting on all of that. So with us together, we might be able to do it, but we got to be careful, right? You're right. One mistake here is... I fear to think of what one mistake could lead to. We definitely can't afford to have any mistakes from here on out. We've already You're lost right, Rainbow Saber. Steve. We've lost Purple Steve because he decided to go on his own. And all the other Steves from the past, we, we owe it to all of them. Letting the Steves go, like Purple Steve and Ghost Steve and all the other Steves that we've let go on their own time, Steve. We've let them go because they trusted us to get these things done. Well, they trusted right. me. And in turn, I trust you. We can't let them down. So, you ready to ask this question? I'm more ready than I'll ever be, I guess. I'll ask it. I'm thinking I word it like this. Will you restore... Store Galaxy Steve's power back. Simple, right. cut, cut and simple. Just short and straight to the point. I think that's Saber. the best way to do it. What if he says no? It's my belief that he summoned us here, right? He whispered in your head to bring us here and for us to find this place, right? Right. He cares just as much about the universe is falling apart and the dimensions falling apart as us, which means that even though it might use a lot of his energy, I think deep down, he's hoping that we would ask a question like this. Now or never, I think we need to just trust that this question will be responded to with a with yes. And if if not, then I honestly don't know what'll happen, but let's just not think about that. You're right. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, let's go find the, the librarian. I don't know where he is, but hello, librarian. Librarian. Oh, I, I see him, Saber. He's right over oh, there. Oh, yeah, he's literally right. He's kind of see-through. He blends in with like the background of the, st the stairs. Hey, librarian, I think I know what final question I want to ask, and I'm ready to ask it. Have you now? Yeah. And are you willing to answer it? That wasn't the question. I just to be sure that, of course. Okay. 
Well, look, Galaxy Steve and I have thought really well, and we put a good amount of time into making sure that this question is something that you are willing to answer. I, it's my belief that you whispered in Galaxy Steve's head, led him here, giving him the riddle to get us into this place that you have protected with all of your power because you believe in us to save the universes and the dimensions from void steve and if that's correct then this question i'm about to ask you i'm hoping will be responded to by you willing to actually help us so without further ado here goes nothing great librarian will you restore galaxy steve's power fully i know it's a lot to ask but i think that you're willing to help us finally get rid of this evil in these dimensions so your final wish shall be granted galaxy steve i shall bestow upon you your lost power really he's doing it he's doing it galaxy steve i where'd the librarian go where galaxy Saber? Steve? how do you feel where were I, were you next to me when I, it happened i i feel Powerful, really? I, you actually feel like okay now. I have my powers back, Saber. You can fly. Wait, can you break blocks? Well, I'd assume no because we're still in the library, huh? Uh, no, no, I, I, I can't. I, I can't break any blocks. You actually I, I okay? So you, you can't break blocks, but I'm sure that's because we're in the library. But look, you can fly. I can't, I can't hit you anymore. And, and I can hit. May, maybe it's just the dimension you, we're in. Maybe the spells are just too powerful. What? Your power's back, though. My power's back. I can. This Dude, is, this feels amazing. Although your power's back, we need to just get work. Wait, hang on. The librarian. He disappeared. Where is he? I don't know. He he summoned all that power to fix you, and then he just disappeared. You, you wouldn't happen to know where he went, right? No, I mean, I don't know where he is at all. I don't know where the librarian is, but I can, in good faith, leave this library alone until he comes back. I know we need to go and take Void Steve head on, but like I said before we asked the question, we need to make sure that we're cautious about how we do things and the librarian just used a lot of energy trying to restore your power i'm worried that maybe something didn't go too well we need to make sure that this library is defended until he comes back You're right now that i have this much power there's no way void steve didn't notice not only that if that much power was restored to you the librarian could be weak maybe he went somewhere to try and recharge his energy but we owe it to him to defend this library until he comes back this library is it's too high risk to leave alone You're right it's the great library after all your power's back you might not be able to break any blocks but you can definitely defend yourself now why don't you go and make sure that the front entrance is well defended you're right i'll do that saber okay look guys we got galaxy steve's powers back which is awesome and now that we got his powers back i think we can actually take void steve on but i don't know where the librarian went and we need to make sure that this great library is still protected and defended for now guys let us know what do you think happened to the librarian what do you think we should do next but i hope you guys enjoyed we got galaxy steve's powers back and we can move forward from there so thanks for all your support guys hit that like button subscribe turn on notifications as always i'm your host saber and i'll see you tomorrow with another daily Minecraft video. Peace.